Now, this topic was requested by somebody. So, if you're watching this video, shout out to you. Now, this topic today, ladies and gentlemen, you all going to love this one. So, make sure you stay tuned at the very end, all right? Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And by the way, y'all share the video. But today's topic, we're going to talk about this is the reason why people look at you funny. And y'all can't agree with me on this. How many of y'all had people look at you weird? They look at you like you crazy. They look at you like you got a booger hanging out your nose or something. But I'm going to break it down to you in this video. Let's make sure y'all stay at the very end, all right? But ladies and gentlemen, no chit chat. Let's get right into it. This is the real reason why people look at you funny. Because you get it and they don't. Let me repeat that one more time. DJ, drop the bomb on them. This is the reason why people look at y'all funny. Because you get it and they don't get it. You see, you understood your assignment. But them, they had an assignment too. But see, they choose not to understand their assignment. But here they are. Trying to get... They're just trying to... Oh, how can I say this? They're so busy concerning about what you got going on in your life. They want to know how you doing. What you doing? Who you dating? Then they be looking at you funny when they can't figure you out. How many of you had people called you weird or say you acting funny because they couldn't figure you out? No, because they can't get no information out of you. So they will make some up. And then when that turn around and backfired, they look at you crazy, funny. Trying to say, oh, she's stuck up. No, they just mad. Or oh, he just mad because he see that you ain't no fool. And this is for the ladies. Ladies, he see that you ain't no fool. And you ain't finna fool around with him if you catch my drift. Fellas, that 304, she just mad because she thought you was this easy guy but no kind of find out you ain't you're just gonna go for anything that because you got a big butt and a smile don't mean nothing but see she's looking at you funny because she don't get it but you get it though you see y'all understood everything that God had put in your life you understood the assignment, the trials and tribulations. Had you even understood why the devil was coming at you this hard? Because it's a breakthrough coming. And these people that got the devil in them, they know it too. But have you noticed, people that come against you, they are afraid. Now they want to be chosen. They want to be like you. They copying you. But as the OGs would say, these people ain't chosen more than the dude in the moon. Hell, they not even chosen if the cow jump over the moon himself. But here they are, trying, trying their best to try to figure you out. When they don't speak to you, you don't get in your feelings. But when you don't speak to them, oh, you, you can't speak today. They get all in their little feelings. They get in a tinkle, tinkle little feelings. They get butthurt about that. And when you don't give them no attention, they look at you all funny. They just turn their nose up, giving you that type of look. And guess what you do? And it's all about your business. These people can be very real, ladies and gentlemen. People that look at y'all weird, they ain't got it all together up here. Think about it. 
They take all that time and energy that's disturbing at you. They stand it from a far distance like this. Because you know why? They better. They can't figure y'all out. Good. Remember, you get it and they don't. Y'all is this walking green check mark, aka approve. It's like when you go get a credit or you get something from the store, do you use your car or credit card, whatever, bank card, whatever you use. Then on the thing, it said approve. You've been approved already. Y'all been approved for your blessings. And they just looking at you. What makes him so special? What makes her so special? I, I don't understand that. I don't understand them. You was not put here on this earth to be understood. But your naysayers, they're trying their very best trying to figure you out. And the more they're trying to figure you out, they're going to end up getting a damn headache. They're going to make that blood pressure rise up. They finna scratch their own self out. They finna lose hair on their head. Trying to figure you out. Trying to keep up with you. Trying to keep tasks with you. By the time they try, <laughs> I ain't trying to be funny, but um, the more they keep doing that, they could be walking around here looking like Mr. Clean. With a fresh body. Because they are scratching themselves out. Trying to keep tabs on you. Because they can't figure out why other people start loving you and supporting you. They can't figure out why people from other states start supporting you. It's because you got it. You got it, got it, got it. You got it going on. And they're not so got it. They not so. They are. I'm going to say this. They're not getting it. They choose not to get it. You got it and they don't. They've been declined with a red X. Declined big time. Err. But you, ding. And they get mad every time you succeed. They get mad every time somebody starts supporting you and talking to you. Boy, they heat them up. It burns them up. Now they send back looking at you like you crazy. But they are crazy. They are the ones that are going through mental illness. And do you know what a mental illness is? Self-hate. Competition. Or should I say this? Imagine competition. Y'all remember that spon y'all remember that on um, episode from SpongeBob years ago, right? Imagination. They got this. Imagination competition in their head about you. And when they lose this imagination competition, they get butt hurt because they had tried your they tried their best to get your attention. They try a lot. When I said a lot, they try a lot to get y'all attention. They try to get you to react. They try to get you to flip out, cuss out, do all the stupid stuff so they can sit back and laugh. Because you understood your assignment. And they didn't. But here they are, all up in your Kool-Aid. And don't even know the flavor. Instead, they're making their own Kool-Aid and their own flavor. Here they is. Yeah, boy, what you got over there? Girl, what you got over there? They just being nosy. But that's what nosy people do. When you got your life together or finna get together, they want to know. Mm. I see the young blood over there looking good. I remember back in the day he was struggling. Now he look all happy. Mm. Well, what's up with him? Girl, I remember her when she was struggling. What she got going on? These people are downright stupid. Do you hear me right now? They are flat out stupid. Some up here, it's not clicking right. 
Because why would you be worrying about somebody else and they not even stun you? Ladies and gentlemen, they sweating y'all. You getting it when it's getting the good, like the song goes. Getting it while getting the good. And they want to see how you getting the good. It's called minding your business. It's called not having a jealous bone in your body. It's called being humble. And most importantly, it's called keeping your nose out of other people's business. But other than them, you see, they're not going to understand that. That's why they look at you funny. That's why they're spreading rumors. That's why they try to get everybody to turn against you. This is why people like them don't want to see you happy. But regardless of what they do or say, you're still happy. And they can't figure out. They can't put their tongue on it. I said tongue. But no, don't put your tongue on it. Mm -mm. They can't even put their finger on it. They can't even put their brain on it. Because they can't figure out why is you so happy. Why is it you? Why couldn't it have been nobody else? They're mad at the fact because it's you. Yeah, it's you. But let that be somebody else. Go, girl. Mm. Try, you get it. Sugar, honey, darling, get it. Or let that be somebody else. Bro, you go, bro. Yeah. Yeah, bro. Yeah. Yeah, bro. But it's you. It's you. They mad, furious. They throwing things across the room. Having to tip attention like a little child. That's hitting stuff against the wall. Like, dude, calm down. Ain't nobody mad but the devil. But see, they mad because you understood the assignment that God had given you. But God gave everybody the assignment since day one. But some folks choose to follow Satan's assignment. But Satan's assignment is not like God's assignment. You see, when you get blessed by the Most High, your blessings last for a lifetime. But Satan's assignment is only temporary. And that time had ran up. They thought all this laughing, ha ha, and laughing at you, they thought that was going to last forever. But come to find out, it backfired. Come to find out, them tables had turned. And come to find out, everybody looking at them like they crazy. They said, this mother lost their mind. Look at them competing with such and such. They sweating that brother. They sweating that sister. They must got it going on. They look at them. Look, look at them. They looking at them like they funny. Other people gonna start looking at them like they are funny. But I'm telling you all right now, if you ever had people just look at you like you crazy, don't pay these folks no mind. Don't even, don't even sweat it. Take it as a compliment. It's because you are doing something right. If people won't staring at you or trying to figure you out, you ain't doing enough. Or you ain't doing that the right. But when you got people staring at you, trying to figure you out, that's putting dirt on your name, oh, you're doing something right. But while all that coming backfire, man, let me tell you this. You finna make a lot of people when I say make, you finna make them look very, very sorry. You finna make them look very, very stupid too. Mm-hmm. You sure is. And that may came off as brutal, but if you've been watching me for a while, you know I get brutal honest. We keep it raw and uncut on this channel. We keep it one oh oh oh. But y'all, this is what people do today in society. They make themselves look crazy because they can't figure out, okay, they can't put their finger on it. Why is you? Why you get so lucky? But you're not lucky. You're not lucky. You are blessed. They confuse with lucky, but blessed. 
they would never get it. They would never understand it. It's like their brain can't calculate it. They would never ever get it. Like air vote. They never, never going to get it. But when you rise up to the top and when you become successful, here they come running. Then when they trying to sling you this little slick text, they want to know how you've been doing all this and that. Then when you block them, here come a fake account. Asking for your phone number, asking how you doing. Don't give, don't even give them the, um, don't even give them that knowledge because that's what they want. They want a reaction and they want you to acknowledge their existence. Don't give it to them. Let them suffer. Let them beg and plead for mercy because you understood what you had to do. But them, <laughs> not. They didn't understand it. They choose not to. This is why you're getting the blessings. And them, they ain't never, never, ever, ever going to get it. But who fault is that, though? You guessed it right. The buffoon's fault. The so-called one to be chosen. They ain't chosen. Then they're doing in the moon. As the OGs would say. That child ain't more chosen than the man in the moon. <laughs> Ooh. They won't even be chosen if the cow jump over the moon. Hell, they won't even be chosen if the cow bit the moon and left a little half of the moon. They still won't be chosen. These people will do anything to call themselves a chosen. They ain't chosen. They never but a monkey see one <laughs> They never but a monkey see one and do. I say monkey see one and do, but same thing. They never but a monkey see, monkey do. Monkey see, monkey want to do. I made that up, but but for real though, these people just want to be a want to be a color shit of water. A monkey see, a monkey do. A monkey see, a monkey want to do. But here they are, trying to keep up with you, trying to keep tabs on you. Y'all don't talk to him, don't talk to her. And you still doing that's fine. Because guess what? God finna remove you away from these weird, nonsense people. Y'all understand? Y'all not finna be near these people. No time soon. You daddy looking at you funny now. Wait until you pack your bags up and leave. Wait until you no longer around these people. Now they looking silly in the face. Now they really looking at you funny then. They're going to be shocked. Mesmerized. They ain't going to be able to understand it. They thought they were confused now. You finna make their head hurt. Their brain... It's finna be, it's finna be hurting. They finna get their own self a headache. Well, why is he leaving? Why is she leaving? They ain't got no plan B. Why are they leaving? Don't worry about that. Y'all tell them don't even worry about it. God got it all under control. But behind the scenes, behind closed doors, you... You already know what you're about to do. That's why you had to pack your bags up and leave that hometown. Leave that job. Because you understood. But some folks that don't understand, they sit in their hometown for 15, 20, 30, 40, 50, all their life plus years. They choose to be stuck at that 9 to 5 all their life. Kissing the boss's butt hook on me. Uh, I bought, let me wash myself. <laughs> Kissing the boss's behind. Somebody, well, two people told me this. The boss will never pay you to be his or her neighbor. Do y'all understand that? The boss 
will never pay you to be his or her neighbor. This is why it's best to go home and work on your own stuff. I don't care who don't believe in you. Let them look at you funny all they want to. They can look at you all cock-eyed and whatnot. They're really going to be looking cock-eyed and then wait till God elevates you. Wait till you start driving. That eye's going to be cocked like a pistol. That eye's going to be cocked so far to the doggone nose. It ain't going to be funny. Y'all finna make these people look very, really silly in the face. We ain't talking about silly rabbit chasing for creep. Tris is all for kids. We ain't talking about that type of silliness. We talking about silly as in embarrassed in the face. Y'all finna make these people have a headache. But I'm not gonna say y'all gonna make them. They finna make their own selves have a headache. Trying to figure you out. We'll make him so special. So they gotta scratch their head. They gotta do all that. Scratch your neighbor behind. What make him so special? What makes her so special? They so worried about you and your whereabouts. Then when you step up to the scene, they want to look at you like you funny. They're looking at you funny because you overcame so many obstacles and trials and tribulations. All the slander, all the hate. All of it. And then what don't kill you make you stronger? Or they will be looking at you silly then. Take it as a compliment. And say, hmm, I look good today. Hmm. Wear confidence. Like you're wearing it on your sleeve. Like you're wearing a shirt or a coat or whatnot. Wear it. And don't be ashamed to wear it either. I don't care who looking. Wear it. I don't care who don't like it. Wear it. And wear it like you mean it. And when you walk into that place, walk in there like God sent you in there. Alright? Don't be afraid of these people. I know y'all not. Because you don't fear nobody or anything. Remember, scary money don't make no money. That's why those folks over there, they ain't never going to get it. Because they're scared of they are scared to step out of their own comfort zone. They're too busy thinking about what other people are going to think about them. Instead of thinking outside the box, stepping out that matrix program, and think for themselves. But no, I'm scared. I'm scared what they're going to think of me. That's their problem. they scared. Remember, y'all, Scary money don't make no money. Being scary. That's not going to get you nowhere in life. Not y'all but them. They're so busy up in your business. But tell them to step up to the plate. I'm scared. That's why they're never going to get nowhere in life. Because they're too busy thinking about what other people are going to think about them. But when you got a pair of sack. You step up to the plate and you handle your business, ladies and gentlemen. They look at you weird. They look at you all funny because you understood all of your assignments. And they did not understand now one bit of their assignments, but they all up in your business. They want to know what's on your assignment. But like the teacher said back in school, tell them fools. Keep their eyes on their own paper. That's why they're never going to get nowhere in life anyway. Look at what you, trying to see what you got going on. But your assignment is different from theirs. But everything on your assignment, ho, ho, ho. Improve, improve, improve. Check mark. Approve, approve, approve. Their assignment on their paper Decline, decline, and decline. Red X. Everything your assignment. Green check mark. Green check mark. Green check mark. But that's remember this, ladies and gentlemen. The more they try to curse you, the more they lie on you. The bigger 
and the blessing will be. The more you try to get other people to turn against you, God gonna bless them right in front of their face, ten times fold. You understand? Don't forget about that. But ladies and gentlemen, that was the topic for today's video. I hope you all enjoyed that video, by the way. And remember, that's the reason why people look at you funny because you get it and they don't. You understood your assignment and they didn't. Oh, freaking well. That's on them. But you, <laughs> mark my words, y'all finna get the biggest blessings ever before this year is over. Or when 2025 come in, who knows? But just be patient and remain humble and continue to put in that work. All right? But that being said, y'all, I love you all. God bless. Y'all be safe out there and remember, I'm rooting for you. So don't you dare give up. All right? Keep your head up. With that being said, peace.